Vowel in tree. E. Pronunciation activation pack one. The IPA chart. This is the chart of the International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA, showing the 44 sounds of British English. The chart is divided up into three sections. The red section at the top left shows the pure vowel sounds. The green section at the top right shows the gliding vowel sounds. The blue section at the bottom shows the consonant sounds. Pure vowels. The red section at the top left shows the pure vowel sounds. In this pronunciation activation pack, we'll be looking at the first of the pure vowels, E. We'll look at the letter combinations that give the E sound. We'll look at lots of words which have the E sound in them. Finally, we'll activate your ability to produce the E sound correctly. Long vowels. The first of the pure vowels, E, is a long vowel. There are five long pure vowels on the British IPA chart. The long vowels have two of these shapes after them. With pure vowels, the sound doesn't change from the beginning to the end, unlike the gliding vowels. We'll look at the other vowels and consonants in following pronunciation activation packs in this series. Syllables. Every word has at least one syllable. Some words have several syllables. In English words, only one syllable is strong and the rest are weak. This is very important in English pronunciation, as we'll see. A syllable is made up of a vowel and the vowel is called the peak of the syllable. Indeed, we cannot have a word without a vowel. Onset and peak. A syllable has its peak on the vowel sound. A syllable may also have an onset before the peak and a coda after the peak. For instance, the word tree has an onset made of the sounds t and r before the peak e. Tree does not have a coda after the peak. Peak and coda. We've just seen that a syllable has its peak on the vowel sound. We also saw that tree has an onset before the peak, but no coda after the peak. The word trees still has an onset t and r before the peak e, but it also has a coda z after the peak. Trees has only one syllable and is monosyllabic. English is a stress-timed language and syllables are very important. Multisyllabic words. You now know that the word trees has just one syllable. How about the word treetops? Treetops has two syllables, tree tops. The first syllable, tree, has an onset and a peak, but no coda. The second syllable, tops, has an onset, t, a peak, o, and a coda, p, s. Syllable boundaries are shown by a dot. Multisyllabic stress. Treetops has two syllables, tree, tops. The first syllable, tree, has the main stress. The main stress is shown by the sign before the syllable. 
Monosyllabic words have the main stress on the one syllable. Multisyllabic words have the main stress on one of the syllables. Some multisyllabic words have secondary stress too. Secondary stress. One of the many words taken into English from other languages, cappuccino, has four syllables. Can you hear where the main stress falls in cappuccino? The main stress is on the third syllable, cappuccino. Notice this mark before the first syllable. This shows that the first syllable has a secondary stress. Letter combinations for E. The long vowel sound E can be formed by these letter combinations. Double E, E, E A, I, I E, E I, E Y, U A Y, E O. The most common combinations are at the top, the least common at the bottom of this list. Pronunciation practice. These machine fleas can't breed, luckily. Notice that the final Y in luckily is a shortened E. Pronunciation practice. A piece of cheese in such a machine is, I believe, a cliché. Pronunciation practice. People were eager to travel far afield by these steamy but economic means. Pronunciation practice. Seen beside the marine key by the beach was a Japanese sea creature or beast with a beak. Minimal pairs. A minimal pair is a pair of words which are almost the same, except for one different sound. In this case, the vowel sound. Take the pair of words been and bin, for example. Can you hear the difference between the long vowel in been and the short vowel in bin? Look at them phonetically and you'll see it clearly. Been, bin. Throw these coffee beans in the bin. Biggest problem. The biggest problem for students is hearing and producing the difference between the long vowel E and the short vowel I. These two sounds are next to each other on the IPA chart and are thus very similar. The difference is one of length, and the pronunciation activator will give you lots of practice with minimal pairs containing the long vowel E and the short vowel I. With enough practice, you'll soon be able to distinguish the two sounds. Then you can move on to the second pronunciation activation pack at Britlish.com. Second biggest problem. The second biggest problem for students is hearing and producing the difference between the long vowel E and the short vowel E. These two sounds are next to each other on the IPA chart and are thus very similar. The difference is one of length and the pronunciation activator will also give you lots of practice with minimal pairs containing the long vowel E and the short vowel E. With enough practice, you'll soon be able to distinguish the two sounds. Then you can move on to the second pronunciation activation pack 
at Britlish.com. Pronunciation Activator The best way to activate your pronunciation skills is to become, well, active in your studies. To help you with this, I've created this Pronunciation Activator. You'll listen to random minimal pairs from a database of 160 minimal pairs. Not only will you practice your listening skills, but you'll also learn to pronounce these 160 English words correctly. Listen to the minimal pairs, and then choose which word contains the vowel sound E. Neat, knit. Yes, that's right. Shin, sheen. No, I'm afraid that's wrong. Dictionary. With 160 words in the pronunciation activator, there's a good chance that some of them will be new to you. To help you out, I've compiled a 16-page dictionary of vocabulary used. The dictionary contains over 7,600 words of explanation for the 160 words in the pronunciation activator. You can download the dictionary as a PDF document from the resources link at the top left of the pronunciation activation pack. Pronunciation activation packs. The pronunciation activation packs are going to help you develop a proper British English accent. After many years spent teaching students around the world to improve their pronunciation, I wanted to help many more students than I could reach one at a time. I created this series to explain every aspect of British English pronunciation in an entertaining and efficient way. You can pay what you want for each pack, from as little as one euro, so it's very affordable and fantastic value for money. Short of taking one-to-one -one classes with me on Skype, this is as close as you can get to having private English classes with a native English teacher. Pronunciation Activation Packs The Pronunciation Activation Packs are going to help you get the British accent you've always wanted. First, you'll learn all of the 44 British English IPA symbols to make improving your pronunciation easier and faster than ever. Next, I'll teach you all about different aspects of British English pronunciation, including strong and weak forms of words, function and content words, stress patterns, and intonation, to mention a few of the areas this course covers. Pronunciation Activation Packs Work your way through these Pronunciation Activation Packs and you'll have a complete understanding of British English pronunciation. This valuable knowledge will help you not only improve your pronunciation, but will also make listening to native English speakers easier for you. You can buy Pronunciation Activation Packs in any order you want, but I designed the whole course to be completed in order. If you start from Activation Pack 1, and continue from there, you'll learn things that will help you in the following pronunciation activation packs. Online English Classes If you really want to improve your English faster than you ever thought possible, online English classes are for you. I've taught many thousands of online English classes since 2006. My students find that online English classes are the most convenient way to learn English. Wherever you have an internet connection, you can have your English classes. At home, in the office, or even in the park. 
Wherever you are, I'll come to you. Book an introductory class at Britlish.com today and see how online English classes can help you get the level of English you've always dreamed of.